So every morning we wake up and we check our phones. We check to see how many likes our pics got, our friends' pics got, and even our frenemies got on Facebook and Instagram. And then we go on Snapchat to see what amazing adventures our friends have been up to. And everyone's life seems so perfect. Oftentimes, we compare our own lives with the lives of others that we see on social media, and then we're saddened. We start to think about how we can mask our sadness and portray a happy life. And social media has made us a little obsessed with this notion of having a perfect life. And when we don't feel like our lives are perfect, we become unhappy. And there are so many reasons why we are sad, one of which is the fact that we're forgetting that this life was never meant to be perfect. Every single one of us in this room, every single one of us on earth is tested in one way or another. And how can I say that with such confidence? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it very clear that this world isn't Jannah, so it isn't perfect. And He told us, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ He said, and we will surely test you with something of fear. Now what is fear? Fear is an emotion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test us with our emotions. And then he said, and hunger, and a loss of wealth, and lives, and fruits, all things that may make us sad or anxious. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us hope and says, give glad tidings to the patient. And sometimes shaitan tricks us. And he tells us that if we're feeling sad or anxious, that that means that we don't have faith. That that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry with us. And that's not true. Sadness and anxiety are a part of this life. Sadness and anxiety are natural emotions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created in us. And everyone experiences these feelings. And a certain degree of worry and anxiety exists in every single one of us, and it's completely normal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a wide range of emotions. And that we will all experience these emotions, even the prophets, peace and blessings be upon them all, experienced sadness and anxiety. We all know that Prophet Ya'qub was so sad when he was separated from his son Yusuf. So sad that he cried so much that he lost his eyesight, subhanAllah. And we know that Maryam, a woman who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us perfected her faith. One of the very few women who actually perfected her faith. That while she was giving birth, she was so anxious, she was so sad, that she actually said, I wish I had died before this and I was long forgotten. SubhanAllah. We even know that our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam experienced sadness in his life. There was even a period of time in his life called Amul Huzun, the year or the time of sadness. And when experiencing times of distress, we have to remember that yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did tell us. He gave us the heads up and told us that we were going to be tested. But guess what? At the same time, he said, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not burden a soul more than it can bear. So know that you are strong and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that we can overcome whatever challenges come our way. And that the fact is, is that we're given these challenges because he knows we're strong enough to handle them. And oftentimes, we underestimate our abilities. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how resilient and strong he created us. And I'd like to take a moment to clarify that depression, anxiety disorder, and negative thoughts are three different types of ailments. But inshallah tonight, I would like to share with you a few tips to help us through difficult times. I'd like to share with you five things that we can do to help ourselves or encourage someone else to do when they're experiencing sadness, worry, or unpleasant thoughts. And these five tips are from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu but also backed by the latest scientific and psychological research. And there are so many factors in life that we can't control. But these are things that we can actually start doing right now. And everyone in this room can do them, and inshallah, I'll show you how. Number one, your breath. And I know that sounds kind of weird because you're thinking, Sister Dunya, we're all breathing right now. But the latest scientific findings are revolutionary. We can change the way we feel and change our emotions by using our breaths. Now you don't believe me, right? But the research suggests that certain types of breathing are extremely effective in helping with depression and anxiety. And I'd like to show you all how. If I can please ask you all to stand up. Thank you, may Allah bless you. And if I can ask you to please place one hand on your chest and one on your stomach. Bismillah. And at the count of three, not yet, at the count of three, I'm going to ask you to inhale through your nose and I'm going to hold up five seconds and you're going to hold that inhale for five seconds. So you're going to take a big inhale and it's going to take you five seconds to do it like this. Okay? And then I'm going to ask you to hold it for five seconds and I'll give you the cue. And then I'm going to ask you to release it slowly for five seconds, okay? Are we okay? Okay, bismillah. One, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Really simple, right? But the research proves that doing that about five times, just the inhale, holding, exhale, holding, five times can lower your levels of anxiety and sadness. SubhanAllah, Jazakallah khairan, may Allah bless you. So doing this five times can significantly help and learning to use your breath is a very powerful tool. And you know what's so awesome about this powerful tool? You're doing it anyways. It's free. It's easy. It doesn't require any equipment or anything external. And you can do it anytime, anywhere, inshallah. Number two. I said I was going to share with you five things. Number one was breathing. Number two is turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.